I'm cowboy bootmaker Lisa Sorrell and today I'm going to introduce you to the boss of my shop. This machine is called a curb needle. She is a beast and so if you were in my shop you would notice that pretty much every time I pass her I caress her to try to keep her in a good mood. The curb needle is used to stitch soles on cowboy boots. It's called a curve needle because both the needle and the awl are curved. So from the bottom, there's a curved awl that comes up and punches the hole. The leather is so thick that a needle alone cannot punch the hole. The hole. And so a curved awl comes up from the bottom and punches the hole. And then the needle, it has a little hook on it like a crochet hook. The needle follows the awl down, grabs the thread, and makes the stitch. Now, there are two particularly challenging things about using this machine. One is there's a blade right here. There's a little knife and that cuts a channel in the wet sole leather so that the stitches can fall down in the channel and then you're not walking on your stitches. The other thing is when you're stitching you're holding the boot upside down so you can't see where you're going and if you tilt the stitching surface at all the stitches come out of the channel. So you can go crooked and not know it. You can have stitches that look great but they've fallen out of the channel. Or if you're really not paying attention you can go off the toe and that's very bad. Now one of the things that I've discovered about curtain needles is, is that they have musical preferences. Don't laugh, they really do. My particular curve needle likes one of my favorite bluegrass bands called the Gibson Brothers. And the Gibson Brothers have a very sad, tragic song about a dying Civil War soldier. He's a rebel soldier and he's writing his last letter home. That's the name of the song, his last letter home. And my curve needle likes that song. And so every single time I stitch soles, if you come in my shop when I'm stitching soles, I will not only be playing that song, it will be on repeat because I do whatever it takes to make her happy. Okay, here goes. We're going to try stitching a pair of soles. Now I know I said that my curved needle likes the Gibson Brothers song, Last Letter Home, but unfortunately I don't have the rights to play that song, so we'll just hope that she allows me to stitch on her anyway. the curb needle demonstrated to me that she really is the boss of the shop. I was stitching a pair of soles and I unwisely pushed the work. The curb needle will feed the work but I pushed and she didn't appreciate that and it broke the needle and it didn't just break the needle. A little shard of the needle came flying out of the machine and hit me right in the center of my throat. For several days I had a little red scab there from the needle hitting me. And I learned my lesson. I rediscovered that she's the boss of the shop and I should not push her at any time. So you always have to be nice to your curb needle. Thank you. See you next week.